It is the morning. Let's see. Let me start. Cut. Next week, the demo guys will be here. So we are coming over today to get. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're we're at the two flat. Got it. Um, we're at the two flat today, and everything that we want to salvage, we're gonna put blue tape on, so they don't accidentally toss it. All right, this is all coming out. Um, and this is where there's gonna be a staircase, which will make sense in a little bit, but we're gonna still save as much trim as humanly possible. It's a lot. Don't touch my hut. Pink bathroom, hundred million thousand percent for the sink. It's a good one. Um, the toilet has a huge hole in it, so we might just um, try to find a salvaged pink toilet. Is that a thing? Yeah, I think it's a thing. Okay. Um, and I do want to save this, even though there's some chips, because maybe we can just get it reglazed, um, so they can just set that aside for us. It's old cast iron. Okay, I think we got everything that we could. Oh, the basement. Right. Got the whole floor. Let's go do that. Yeah. Oh, here's my coffee. I'm gonna need this. Yeah. For sure, this and you already got the tub. already got the tub. Anything else? I think that's it. All right, I think we've covered it all. Next time we come back, there will be less stuff. A lot less. <laughs>
No noise, guys must be done for the day. They were starting at the top and working their way down. So let's go upstairs. Progress. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, it's so good. Oh my God. You can see daylight from the bathroom into the kitchen. Okay, so the living room is, wow. Down to the studs, that's for sure. Wow. Holy smokes. All right, so I see that they left us the our doors, mm -hmm. which we're keeping. This is getting donated and Wow, this is so crazy. I can walk from the kitchen into the living room. And let's see, if I keep going, I can walk all the way into my favorite room, but I won't because nothing has happened. Because there's a big rubble pile in the way. Hi from the kitchen. Hi from the living room. <laughs> Eventually you'll be able to do this because this archway is going to get extended. Yeah, should we explain that a little better? Probably. Okay. We are standing in the living room, um, which is right next to the kitchen, but eventually, and the reason that all these walls had to come down is because we are widening the doorway without... Um, Arch, archway. It's not, there's no door. I, yeah, we're Entryway? widening the opening? the opening that's yeah. an arch, and we're making it a bigger arch. Um, not like open concept because that's not really that's not what this home needs yeah that's where the um arch doorway is now and then essentially it's going to get widened here follow my finger <laughs> it's going to be like this yeah okay. roughly to about there yeah and then it'll also be raised another like Call it foot? 10 inches, maybe a foot, probably split the difference between where it is now and the ceiling. So, but we, we are going to keep that curvature because we love that curve. So that curve will be mimicked um, about a foot up from where it is now, follow along like this, and then probably that stud maybe will be the termination this point, one? something like that, or maybe the one past it, this one, one of those two, um, and then we'll bring that arch down and mimic it like this. So then all the natural light that you see behind Kim there will then pass into the living space. So it's all coming together. Yeah. Well, it's got to come apart before, it, come before, apart it, comes before together. it comes together. What? Chimney. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's the chimney. Scott, what do you want to do with it? Well, much like we have in our studio space at our house, um, I think old brick looks great. So if we does could, that chimney function for anything right now? The HVAC uh, vent vents through the chimney still. Okay, so, so it's it still would be. We can't remove it, but rather I, than drywall it back in, we should just leave it exposed. Potentially, we'll see kind of how that junction would look once everything gets. Um, kind oh of my gosh, that would be so bit. cool though if we could leave this exposed. So this is sort of in the entryway. And then this is in the living room. I'm like actually touching the living room. But they could expose it all the way around. Hi. Hi there. Okay, this is like the most Chicago-y thing to ever happen. If you look out that window, that is the house right next door to us. And when they demoed this wall, um, how do I get a good view? Right here. I'm touching our next door neighbor's apartment building. <laughs> That's so crazy. Wow. So obviously we have to make sure that's all sealed up and insulated and... Yeah, everything will need to be re-insulated. Yep. It's pretty neat though. It's kind of cool. It's very cool. I don't know. It's very Chicago-y. <laughs> we have been at it. We haven't been we at it. We haven't. The demo the team demo has team been, has at, been it. at it. Not quite a week. Probably like four working days, give or take. Something like that. Yeah, the next time we come back, I mean, the first floor could be, we might find out what's under the vinyl. Fingers crossed, We might yeah. know what's under the carpet. Um, there's going to be, I think, a lot more discoveries. Like, this is just yeah. really early stuff. Second floor, we kind of, there weren't too many surprises up there that we were expecting, except maybe just the 
We still don't know what's under the vinyl, like in the yeah. kitchen. But I think once they clean that up, we'll be able to see what's under the floor, so. Yeah, fingers crossed. Making um, progress, for yeah. sure. It's dirty, but uh, that's the point, right? Yeah. Cool. Till next time. <laughs>